new shelter for homeless women in LA is finally opening its doors. 30 women will be welcomed into a new bridge housing facility today. CBS 2's Cara Finstrom, she's live in Hollywood this morning with more on this housing project. Cara, so needed at this time. It is, Jasmine, and what the city's doing is it's repurposing an old city library here that had been shuttered for a while, and it will be reopening it this morning as a bridge house. Women, up to 30 of them, struggling with homelessness will have a place to sleep here. Yesterday, another bridge house opened up in Hyde Park. Mayor Eric Garcetti posted some images of that site, which has enough beds for 100 people. There's also a community room, a kitchen, a space for pets, and services like mental health and substance abuse help, as well as job training. The idea is to give people a safe place to stay until they can get into a more permanent home. The city has launched plans to build thousands of supportive housing units over the next decade. LA's homeless crisis has dominated headlines this year with growing calls from Angelinos for action. Within a few weeks, the full city council could vote on a proposed crackdown on sleeping on sidewalks. The rules being considered would bar people from sleeping on sidewalks near schools, parks, and child care centers. Right now, the law allows people to sleep on sidewalks if there isn't enough housing, but they have to move on in the morning, and that part is rarely enforced. Critics of the restrictions that are proposed call them unworkable and cruel. Supporters, including Councilman Joe Buscaino, say they're needed. Clearly, this is unacceptable, and this is why we need to move on an ordinance that has teeth. We just go somewhere else. I mean, we have to go somewhere. And Jasmine and DeMarco, the Gardner Bridge House here set to open about 9 o'clock this morning. The mayor and other city leaders will be on hand.